Hello everyone, I'm Noxious Asp. In this installment of Machine Spotlight, I'll cover everything you need to know about the Spike Snout, one of the 22 machines introduced in Horizon Forbidden West. The Spike Snout is a lightweight acquisition class machine with design inspired by an anteater. The Spike Snout has both a regular variant and an apex variant, distinguishable by its black and gold armor plating and purple muscles. A few of the Spike Snout's most unique features include its elongated snout and tongue that end in a point giving the machine its name. The Spike Snout uses its barbed snout and whip-like tongue in conjunction with its onboard metal bite to liquefy resources to extract them and store them, most often from soil, salvage piles, and at times from downed machine carcasses. Spike Snouts can also shoot out chunks of metal from their mouths coated in metal bite as a ranged attack against enemies, as seen here with its acid metal burst attack. To prevent the Spike Snout from using this attack, detach or destroy the acid canisters on its shoulders. Also similar to an anteater, the Spike Snout has large, powerful front limbs equipped with sizable claws, which are primarily utilized in both mobility and to help rummage through scrap. The Spike Snout makes deadly use of these claws in combat if needed, as seen with its lunging slash attack. Another distinctive feature shared with an anteater is the Spike Snout's massive tail. This heavily armored tail houses the machine's stamina drain sack, a pair of shielded resource containers that can be detached and looted, and several spray nozzles. Similar to how an anteater uses its anal glands to secrete scents, the Spike Snout uses these spray nozzles, also found on its neck, to spray liquids with various effects in the form of mists at both allies and enemies in combat. It does this through attacks like its mist spray, Mist Perimeter, Overhead Tail Sweep, Defensive Tail Sweep, and Snout Shock. These liquids include a yellow stamina draining liquid stored in the machine's tail, a blue damage dampening liquid stored in its abdomen, and a red amplifying liquid stored on its back, each capable of inflicting status effects through prolonged exposure. As its name implies, the yellow stamina draining liquid will inflict the stamina drain state, preventing you from utilizing weapon skills and even preventing a weapon's overdraw ability. The blue damage dampening liquid will of course inflict the damage dampened state, which reduces any type of damage you deal in combat by roughly half. Last but definitely not least, a Spike Snout can spray red amplifying liquid on either itself or allies, which grants the amplified state, increasing damage output by roughly half. A fundamental understanding of these liquids and their effects is key when it comes to facing Spike Snouts in battle, especially when stronger heavyweight machines are involved. Heavyweight machines already dish out a ton of damage and soak up a lot of it as well. If a Spike Snout manages to amplify that damage while dampening your damage and removing your ability to use weapon skills, you can expect an even tougher battle ahead. The easiest way to prevent the Spike Snout from utilizing these status effects is by simply destroying each associated liquid sack with impact damage. However, this comes with a cost. Each sack, if left intact, can add valuable resources to the Spike Snout's carcass, such as purge water in both the damage dampening and stamina drain sack, volatile sludge in the amplifying sack, and Spike Snout sack webbing, a key upgrade resource only found in the stamina drain sack. This is even more of a dilemma when dealing with Apex Spike Snouts, as each one of its sacks, if left intact, can afford you with Volatile Sludge, an invaluable resource especially on higher difficulties. Another option you have is to kill the Spike Snout by other means. Regular variants of the Spike Snout have an inherent weakness to both Purge Water and Fire Damage, making those ammo types a great option. On the other hand, Plasma Ammo is the best bet for Apex variants who have a weakness to Plasma Damage. Shock is not advised. For either variant, as they are both resistant. Another thing to note is that Apex Spike Snouts also have a resistance to purge water. The single easiest way I have found to dispatch waves and waves of Spike Snouts, even on ultra hard difficulty, is by overriding a Fire Claw Strider as a mount and whistling it in to do all of the work for you. A single Fire Claw Strider coupled with a fully upgraded to Noct Tactician outfit can make short work of entire groups of Spike Snouts. The added benefit to using a Fire Claw Strider is that it will only occasionally destroy the Spike Snout's various sacks in combat, making for a solid strategy for farming Volatile Sludge. There are two dedicated Spike Snout sites on the map where you can find them consistently. The first site is located just south of the Tanakh Settlement Arrowhand, 
And the second site is located on the northern border of the Las Vegas desert. I found hopping between these sites with a fire class rider in tow a great way to amass a small fortune in volatile sludge fairly quickly and effortlessly. Overriding a spike snout is possible after first completing Cauldron Chi and obtaining its overrides. Spike snouts can be quite handy in dispatching other spike snouts as demonstrated here. However, don't expect them to pull off any miracles. There you have it, everything you need to know about the spikes now. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload next. Once again, I'm Noxious Asp. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next Machine Spotlight where we'll be shining the spotlight on the Charger.